Hi everyone, I'm Melanie with MB Consulting. And I'm Colleen with A Slice of HR. Today we're teaming up to do some Q&A on popular employment related questions. Because we believe when people matter, companies can thrive. Our question today is about pay inequity. How does it exist and how do we prevent it? There is a simple solution that I don't hear anyone talking about, wage discrimination audits. When I was an HR manager, I conducted one every year by a third party to keep my biases in check. Now, as a consultant, we help clients with these types of issues. And we'd love to help you. Hi, I'm Colleen with the Slice of HR. And I'm Melanie with MB Consulting Solutions. We're teaming up to do some Q&A on popular employment-related questions. Because we believe when people matter, organizations thrive. Our question today is about organizational culture. What's the number one thing that organizations can do to build a positive culture? I've been helping a lot of companies in the past couple of years get on the best places to work list. One of those things that we do is use a methodology called the Thrive Model. Uh, basically, we go in and take a look at your foundations and how can you do better and how can you build to be a great place. We can help you too. Hi everyone, I'm Melanie with MB Consulting Solutions. And I'm Colleen with the Slice of HR. We're teaming up to do some Q&A on popular employment-related questions. Because we believe when people matter, companies thrive. Our question today is about the state of HR. Are HR people evil? Well, <laughs> I have heard cracks over the year about HR people being the police of the organizations. And great leaders understand that people are what make the organization successful. And while we need to be mindful of rules and regulations, we must not stray from our mission to engage and ignite people. And that makes a lot of sense. I mean, the best companies, those that are best places to work, really do think about how when they treat people right, your company thrives. We can help you do that. Hi, I'm Melanie with MB Consulting Solutions. And I'm Colleen with the Slice of HR, and we're teaming up to do some Q&A on popular employment-related questions. Because we believe when people matter, organizations thrive. Our question today is about communication gaps. Does your organization have any of those? Research suggests that communication gaps happen at every size company, and it's a top concern for many leaders. And once you identify those gaps, what do you do to help bridge those communication issues? Yeah, we want to make sure your employees have a voice, and we'd love to be the neutral third party to come in and help you see those gaps, identify trends, and make some great solutions so that you can have a great place to work. Hi, I'm Colleen with A Slice of HR. And I'm Melanie with MB Consulting Solutions. We're teaming up to do some Q&A on popular HR employment related questions. Our question today, what's the difference between perks and benefits? Should we have both? And do they impact our culture? Yes, and perks are definitely a key piece in building that culture. But that's not as easy as putting in a ping pong table or going to a happy hour. It's a more holistic approach to really build an engaged culture. Absolutely. We want to think of it as an entire plan. You wouldn't go on without a financial forecast and a financial plan. We want you to have a people plan. Be intentional. When you do these things and you show that people matter, your company will thrive. Hi, I'm Colleen with A Slice of HR. And I'm Melanie with MB Consulting Solutions. We're teaming up to do some Q&A on popular HR employment related questions. Today our question is about handbooks. Do we really need one? We hear that a lot from our clients. And the answer is yes, it's a great first line of defense for any litigation that might come up. It's also a great communication tool to use with your employees in setting those initial expectations for them. But it doesn't do any good if it's sitting on a shelf collecting dust. 
It should be a living, breathing document within your organization to use as a tool for your employees. Great, because it also will impact your culture. And we want to make sure that people know they matter, because when people matter, organizations thrive.